two small offices, one for the commissioners and one for the chief. And then the rest is really just kind of support stuff, machine rooms, um, bathrooms. This is what we call the day room. And this is where our firefighters stay when they, uh, when they stay overnight. And they'll put out a, a uh, inflatable mattress on the floor. Or they'll sleep on the couch. Uh, these are all, this is all donated furniture. We've lived with, within our means for quite a while, <laughs> since 1967 actually, when the fire department was formed. Significant issues, improper storage for uh, uh, our turnout gear, um, tight fit obviously. Um, you can imagine what kind of a, a uh, situation you have when you have five firefighters in here trying to get dressed to go to a call in an emergency in a tight space like this. A significant space issue. Creates a, an issue with uh, the safety for the firefighters and also a response issue when you're, you have several firefighters in here trying to, to uh, get turned out to go to a fire in, in these tight quarters. It's, This is our, kind of our catch-all room, training room, meeting room, public space for uh, other organizations that might use the facility. Our commissioners meet in here, our firefighters do all their training in here, and as you might imagine, if we had the full roster in here, 20 firefighters, there's really not room for everybody to be in here. In 1967, it was a few little small subdivisions, and now it's virtually solid residential housing all the way to the county line. So we chose the one station concept in the center, and you know, having our reserve engine out in the weather, that's another example of being problematic. We can't count that engine on ISO because it's out in the weather. It has to be housed. We do a lot of good work out of here. And as you'll see from the press release, it's, press release, it's, it's neighbors helping neighbors. That's what we're doing. You know, it's a bunch of volunteers. 